for about six and a half years. No. Sorry. December 2007. My name is Zach Wisdom. I've been training 6.5 years. <laughs> well, I think you used the right word. Discipline. It's often compared to like you know, team sports as a place as its place in like education, like for people's physical health. There's also you know there are plenty of people who do train just um, as, as a discipline, you know, for, for the betterment of, of themselves. As 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 with anything, you know, de defining it specifically as a sport or discipline, that's that's up to an individual's attitude towards it, how the, what the role it plays in their life because it can be different, of course it can be different. But, uh, for me it's it's, you know, it's self improvement it's, it's specialising, it's a skill. My name is Neil Quante, I've been training for four years. Received in the media in Cambridge pretty badly. Been named cat burglars. Um, a couple of people have complained about us being you know, in the way of disabled, but we never do that, we always move out of the way. We're never rude to anyone if they're not, you know, if they're kind to us, we'll be so kind back. Um, but then there's only you know, reasonable grounds sometimes to just get someone who's on a bad day and just you know yeah. wants to have a go at people. Obviously you know people can't skate in some areas and we can't train in some areas that's completely fair enough but I think when they're deliberately trying to you know get us off because we're not doing any harm we're not causing harassment to anyone it's fair enough that some people do that and give us a bad name but that's the same with any sport just misunderstood people don't know enough about it to really like give a good opinion. draw, write music, do things like that, you find a way to express yourself. Some people do that through running, trampolining, kayaking, snowboarding. I do it for you know, parkour, I don't do it as a sport necessarily, I choose it, do it as fun. You know, it's what I like to do, it's what I like to train at. Cambridge, one of the kinds, you know, it's Cambridge. Uh, you go to a lot of other places and you get these people can do massive jumps and stuff like that. Once there's an awkward takeoff or something little awkward like that, they can't do it, you know. And I guess, I so here training is not about what you can do, it's about how well you do it. And you know, kind of how quiet and clean you are. It's, everyone's lovely, it's just a really tight community. But um, I think nowadays it's got too involved in videos and things like that. And not people actually having fun and enjoying training together. My name is Saskia Neville. I've been training for three years. Yeah, three years. I think the main mentality difference is the idea that there's no real wrong and right. Whatever way you do it is right, as long as that's the way you intend to do it. Yeah, I definitely think traces are very determined. I think it, you really notice it in yourself as well when you train with other people. 
you train yourself, you try and better yourself, you can you can drill again and again to try and get something you know you can. Especially when you train with people, you bounce ideas off each other and you keep you keep wanting to go further and further in what you're doing and you see someone take a different approach and they, they push you to try something more when you're usually scared and you, you want to quit, you give it another go because someone says you can do it. Okay. Um, I think we've got a few like very well-known women, but other than that there's a lot of women I think aren't very big in self-promotion, so I think there are, sometimes you see women training or you see groups, we've seen them in the background of the video and they're, I think there are a lot more women out there than we think there are because they're just not, they don't self-promote as much, so I think there's definitely, there's definitely a lot of potential and there are women out there who are very powerful and very strong, but I think if we want to be more present we really have to make more of an effort to be out there, to be seen. I think Cambridge has a lot of old buildings as opposed to we often train in very like modern types of areas with lots of very strict rails and stairs and that kind of thing. I think there's a lot more sort of old buildings here with nooks and crannies like traversing using just the cracks in the walls and the backs of fire escapes and stuff. So. Yeah, I think I think it's whatever you want to make of it. I think a lot of people have this idea that you have to be ridiculously powerful. A lot of people say, oh, I'm not strong enough to do parkour or I'm not brave enough to do parkour. And I think even if you're not strong and you're terrified of everything, there's so much stuff you can do within parkour. Such a mil annoyingly male dominated sport. I mean, I started parkour for the bitches. Then I just find out there's none. <laughs> oh, I'm dying for a cuddle, like, honestly, bad. Yeah, I know, you can. Are you still coming in?